Hey guys, it is Friday and wet one again. Um, so we're going to just do a nice little Friday quickie here. But uh, you guys have seen how this does in the rain, no problems. Um, handles great and gives you good stability with the traction control and the uh, analog brakes. So um, it's definitely a go-to if you're going to ride in inclement weather and deal with that. Um, we got some good thunderstorms through here the other night and it has washed a lot of gravel across the roads, especially on the back roads. So you have to really watch if you're on two wheels hitting that gravel and losing control or just getting a little squirrely. Uh, you know, on this, it doesn't seem to phase it. You know, you get a little bit of slippage, but I mean, the traction control and everything kicks right in and you just keep on moving. <clears throat> but uh, hopefully this gets rid of some of the allergies. This is uh, a tough season with the wind blowing and it just seemed to be extra wet. So everything is just blooming like crazy. I've got my uh, frog togs on and my standard jacket, which is waterproof. And it doesn't do too bad. Um, hopefully over the weekend, it doesn't rain constant. It's supposed to do. So I wanted to get some graphics done on this and a couple other little odds and end things done. So we'll have to see what the weather is. They're calling for partly, you know, some showers on Saturday, but mostly showers on Sunday. So I have to try to squeeze it in on Saturday. We'll see what happens. But you guys seen this road. I'm just zipping down the highway to head back home. I'm not going to go cruising around in the rain. Um, bad enough having to drive in it, but I don't want to make it even worse. Let me get past there. I had to speed up to get past that truck. But uh, let me cut this part out like normal, and I will come back on when I hit about Liberty University. All righty, hold on, guys. All righty, I'm back. Heading up here on Liberty University. Uh, what else on this bike? Um, that is, I mean, there is nothing nothing out of the ordinary that I can uh, comment on. I've seen a few comments, people talking about the handlebars being like the same as bicycles, and I agree. Look at them. I mean, look down at the handlebar. It's like the same thing you would get on a mountain bike. Um, you'd think on a motorcycle they'd be a little more rigid on something that can do 100 miles an hour. Um, but that's what they give you. Um, what else was there? Let me clean that off. Okay. Um, hopefully you guys can see all right. It seems to be doing pretty good when I wipe it. Um, what else have I been getting things on? Uh, just, you know, a lot of people are commenting. They, they like them, they want to like them, but they go to check them out and they are cheap looking, which they are. I mean, look at the price. It's like half the price of a spider starting. So the starting cost of a spider is like 16 and these things are 85 so yeah you're at half the price so um you know you're gonna get the corners cut and you just got to deal with it this is more of the speedster you know for me it's something that i want to play with modify add stuff to you know personalize it for me not worry about keeping it all original and getting my money back out of it um in a couple years i mean i'm already way up there probably 13, 1400 miles already since January 17th when I drove it off the lot. So um, I'm using it. I mean, that's what I bought it for. So I'm going to modify it and I'm going to do what I want to it. And if somebody, when I go to sell it, they're going to have to be interested in what I did to it. Um, you know, it's not like when I bought my Tahoe, I left it all original and spotless for, you know, the first 10 years or so in case I wanted to get rid of it. I wanted to get that you know, 42000 or $44,000 back, <laughs> at least most of it. Um, but yeah, I prefer to drive this over my Tahoe, even though it's a 2002, it drives great, and everything's fine on it. But, you know, I prefer to drive this every day. I mean, that's what I do. <clears throat> Let the other one sit. We use that strictly to pull the camper. Um, let me clean it. All righty. Um, but yeah, so 
if you're buying one, just you, you just gotta expect it. You know, you're gonna have little things. Uh, seen a post where somebody had problems with a wheel. A guy had no gear case oil. I had a wheel that wasn't even balanced and the rust issues. So uh, we got traffic. What's going on? We normally never hit traffic here, so. I am going to end up cutting this part out. I don't want to bore you guys sitting in traffic. I will get back to you up the road here as soon as I see what the heck is going on. Hold on a second here, guys. Alrighty, guys. I see some blue lights up here. Hopefully it's not a real bad accident or anything. I don't see any fire trucks, so probably just somebody bumped into each other. But yeah, you got to really watch. Watch your rearview mirrors. If somebody's coming up too quick or whatever. Yep, that's what it looks like. Looks like they weren't paying attention and rear-ended somebody. On this, you'd be in big trouble. You'd end up with some back problems. Um, but yeah, watch it. Watch your mirrors. If they're coming up, get the heck out of the way. Leave the room in front of you. Do not pull right up on the car in front of you. That way you have a chance to get out at least or move. Um, try to at least. So... Yeah, if you get rear-ended on this, that'd be bad. Okay, another stoplight. Let me edit through this, and I'll get back to you after the light. Okay, I'm back. All right, I'm going to change lanes, get over. I'll make the left up here after this light. So. Anyway, if you're thinking about getting one, just, you know, be advised that you're going to have some issues. Everybody I've seen has some sort of little issues with them. They have not gotten the bugs out of these things yet or put them together very well, may I say. And like I post, oh, it's second traffic. Whoa. All right. A little slippery there. Yeah, it wasn't me giving it too much gas. Too slippery. No, nah, it was me. <laughs> you got to be real careful on wet roads. Got to ease into it. Somebody pulled across and couldn't clear the lane and block the tractor trailer. But anyway, um, yeah, it's, I mean, you're going to have some little issues here and there. Everybody's having them. So, just be advised. Be ready for it. Hopefully, they all the little issues that people are having, they honor it and will fix it for them. Because <clears throat> it is just ridiculous. You know, some of the things. Especially the one where the guy said they had no gear case oil. Which that is... I would put that back on the dealership. Their mechanics uh, were lazy. They did not check all the fluids before putting it out there or se selling it to the guy. Um, that's strictly their problem. I mean, or their fault. So, you know, the, the wheel not being balanced, I don't think the dealership would check that, you know, in my case. Um, but I brought it back. I still paid for it. I don't know why I got charged being that it was never balanced so but I paid it it was only like 20 bucks so I did it that time but um, other than that like that guy that had no gear oil in it if he has transmission problems coming up he hopefully they documented it and can am honors it that it was a fault from either the dealership or from the dealer or from the supplier one or the other that uh it's not raining too hard, a little bit. You can see on the windshield, and I've been trying to wipe the camera. Hopefully, you guys can see that. You know, see through it. So, not too bad. And hopefully, we miss some of the rain tomorrow so I get some stuff done. Hope you guys have some great plans this weekend. Go out, have fun wherever you're at. Um, enjoy yourself. Get over the work week. Try to unwind a little bit. But uh, that's it. I am all out of ideas and my road is coming up right here, but if you have any concerns or questions about this thing, give me a message below. Um, also, try to share. Share my videos. Not that I care about you guys sharing them and I'm looking for publicity, um, but share them. That way if other people have... Ooh, there we go. Look at that. That's fun. Um, that way if anybody has any questions or whatever, I might be able to answer them with my videos or they can ask me. Um, the network for these things is awesome you know everybody getting together and helping each other out so but everybody enjoy your friday be safe and i'll try to upload a couple videos over the weekend we'll see but talk to you guys later